Right then guys, how's it going? Welcome back to a new video. Today we are doing the preview for the Newcastle versus Arsenal game this weekend. You will see I am joined by my good friend James, who is an Arsenal fan. How are you, mate? Yes, very good, mate. Um, I've, like I said before, I've got a bit of a come down with a bit of a cold, but for, for everyone, it's not COVID. It's not COVID. <laughs> don't just don't start getting scared. Um, but yeah, I'm feeling good, uh, considering after that that tragic defeat um against Liverpool. Um I think yeah, yeah. everyone kind of knew that was coming though. I, I can't I, I I had this feeling that going into that game, Liverpool never usually do good after an international break, right? And but then what didn't help us is the fact that they lost against West Ham. So you know yeah. they're gonna be ready for it. That's the only problem. I mean you guys and you know, you started the I mean you started the season off with three losses in a row, didn't you? I remember sitting in the pub watching you lose to Brentford opening game of the season. Uh you then went on to not lose for eight games in a row or something. So you must you must be generally quite happy with where you are, or are you wanting more from, from Arsenal like right now? Arsenal are like a good, um, let's, how can I put this? Arsenal are like a good um, leopard or I'll tell you what, no, like a chameleon. <laughs> they like to, they can blend in very well uh, mm. with their surroundings. Uh, but let's not forget the teams that we did play. Burnley, Crystal Palace, um, Watford. Um, these, these teams, we should be beaten anyway. Let, mm. Let's put it out there. Straight facts. Yeah. Arsenal... They were the big six club. They should be. They should be beating it. The, these teams straight off. Yeah. There isn't any doubt. Do you know what I mean, you, okay. After the City game, we played City. We played Chelsea. Both champions. One of the Premier League. One of the Champions League. Brentford, a newly promoted team that just come up. Mm -hmm. So they're always ready for a fight. They've still got that that energy and that that you know. We've just won the championship and blah blah blah. What I'm trying to get right round my head round is that. We've gone back to when we when I was, when we went into that game against Liverpool, and if they put, if they do this at Newcastle, you've got a chance, right? Um, is we start playing from the back again? We've right. got this terrible thing about playing <laughs> playing from the back, pass to the keeper, back to the keeper. He never and Ramsdale kind of Leno was worse for it. Leno is like the worst for doing this, but playing back to Ramsdale and then Ramsdale playing short passes. He should be playing long balls. Get it up the field. It, we've we've shown we can do it now. Yeah. Going and to back be to that, go on. I was going to say, to be fair, you mentioned in Ramsdale there. I'm surprised that uh, I thought you would be um, jumping for joy over him at the minute because I know I don't watch enough Arsenal as, as I probably should, but I know he's been getting a lot of plaudits right now. Or is that just what the save's stopping, but you're not happy with the distribution? Listen, with, with Ramsdale, I couldn't have asked more. Out of the main <laughs> games, he's done well. Yeah, and I think Arteta made the right choice of bringing him in. Um, he he definitely proved us all wrong. Yeah, because uh, at the beginning when of the season when we brought him in, I was, I would say ninety seven percent sure that he was going to fail at Arsenal because he's the because of his history with other clubs. Yeah, um, but maybe it's that momentum that he needs to give him that push. You know, okay, I'm at, I'm at. A big club, do you know what I mean? Yeah. I, I need to, I need to, I have to do this because yeah. I'm going to get a lot of stick from some people. <laughs> you know, you're not a big club anymore. Do you know what I mean? The, the, the past couple of years, people saying that, um, you know, Leicester probably would have taken our spot. It's kind of changed a little bit now. I mean, I mean, for Arsenal, are still a big club. I mean, you just, you guys just aren't, you know, quite where you want to be right now. Um, I mean, I'm, I'm guessing for you, the aim is top four this season? Is that where you want to be at the end of the season? or And then try and push on from there? Do you reckon you'll I'd get be, top four this season? I'd be happy with sixth. Fifth. Right, okay. <laughs> Last couple of seasons, we've been finishing um, eighth or ninth. Yeah, yeah. And my my prediction for this season, we were going to be in the same spot as we was last season because nothing really changed. But there are some now up-and-coming players. There's young players in this team that can show the fight. There's a lot of players in this team now with Arsenal that need to um, step up and, and you know, step up to their game, yeah. um, to their level, of what they're meant to be at. And one of them is Aubameyang mm. and one of them's um, Lacazette. 
yeah. don't think they played very well against Liverpool. I don't know what Bamian was doing in that game. Yeah. I mean, as you say, touching on a few players there, we've mentioned obviously how well Ramsdale's done. Uh, I mean, we struggle to... Although, to be fair, I mean, obviously in the last game with Eddie Howe in charge, we did actually put a few shots in on goal, which was a nice change for us. But um, I don't think Ramsdale will be easy to beat. But you mentioned a few players there, obviously going at the game against Newcastle. 12 30 kickoff, so it's going to be on telly for everyone to watch. Um, are you want oh, to see? Do you, do you know what? <laughs> the 12 30 kickoff, I think, is our. It is, um, it's a bit of a, um, a bogey time for us to play out. I, every time we play at half 12, I just feel like half our players are asleep. <laughs> <laughs> to be fair, I, I often think whenever they put Newcastle on telly, it's to, to watch us lose. Like the, all the games, we, they always put us on against Man City and Manchester United and you guys. I mean, it's like they just want every, the world to watch us lose at the minute. But um, but yeah, as you say, Lexette, like Abamyang. Um, are you hoping this, are those the players to watch right now or are they not in form or who are we looking out for this weekend? Smith Rowe. Yeah, I've seen him do a lot of things recently. I would say uh, if Smith Rowe is in that team, then uh, you need to um, mark him very well because he is a top player at the moment. Uh-huh. Um, I was a bit, um, I was a bit like, you know, I didn't really know if he, he deserved that number 10 shirt. But he's proved it, you know. Um, even I was, I was proud that he got an England cap. Yeah. Um, which was very good. I, I like to see now we've got three players in that team, and it not all being Spurs players. <laughs> <laughs> like, at one point, the whole team was like Spurs. Yeah, it was. Yeah. Um, yeah, but uh, yeah, I'd say Smith Rowe. Um, I would like to see in this game Martinelli start. I don't think Martinelli's had much of a chance. I know he came back from Brazil um, and he was he was very... Um, he had the whole COVID thing, weren't it? Because they had to stop the match over there or something. Yeah, like that. yeah. Um, but I would say watch out maybe for Smith Rowe. If Saka plays, then Saka. I can understand why he wants to get rid of Pepe now. Um, and I said he was linked up with you. Yeah, man. That, well, that was what I was going to come on to as well, because I know you've just mentioned there, maybe they're not in the, the greatest of form right now. Newcastle are linked with everyone under the sun. And as I said earlier, it would probably be quicker to go through the players that we're not linked with, because we're linked with so many. But obviously, again, looking at Newcastle, we're hoping that the January is going to try and save our season at the moment, to be fair. Although, again, we, we, we did play better in the last game. So I'm, I'm hoping that a mix of the two, better performances and a bit of January might see us over the line. But mm. the, the, one of the players we've been linked with for, for quite a lot is Lacazette. And then you've mentioned Pepe as well. Um, thoughts on them too? Are they, I mean, first of all, are they going to want to come and have a relegation battle for us? And second of all, do you think they're worth the, the money? Well... On wages, I should I, say. What, I, what I've looked at... It seems that uh, Pepe doesn't want to stay. Right. Um, he, uh, he's had enough uh, with, <laughs> with the criticism. Yeah, he's just probably with the criticism, you know. Yeah. Um, yeah. He was meant to be this wonder kid that came from Lille and he's done absolutely nothing, really. Um, he's been a complete, a, a big whopping 72 million flop. It's a lot of money, isn't it? I mean, even for us, we had the 40 million for Joe Linton, who's done who done nothing up until the weekend when he looked like a world beater. But you're saying that you think Pepe has had enough and he would he want to go to another team in England? Or I think he'd want to just go back home. Uh, Joe, you know what? Like, like it wouldn't surprise me. Money talks, doesn't it? So true. If you if if Newcastle or another team get him for the right price and the right wages, what's to say that he won't stay in England? Yeah. He's, he, he seems to be comfortable in England. He, it's not like um, Torreira that you know that came to Arsenal. We yeah. started having he was getting homesick and that, and uh, he couldn't really deal with the language and stuff like that. But um, like I said, you're linked with him. Crystal Palace and Everton are linked with him. Right. The the price going that for him is probably about thirty one million, which is a massive massive pay cut. Yeah. Do you know I mean it's, that's it's, true? It, from 72 million. And would you be happy to see him go? Are you not a Pepe fan? What about Lacazette as well? Because I mean, one strike, one position we need is a striker. I mean, I've not seen Lacazette scoring too many recently. Is, are you, would you be happy for him to go? Or would you like to keep him on? Because I think his contract's ending, isn't it? I think that's why he's yeah. linked. They're, they're, they're trying to extend his contract though. So right. they obviously had, do have a lot of faith in him. Yeah. With Aubameyang, he just seems to have signed that new contract. Was it the beginning of last season? 
And he just, he's absolutely, he's another flop. He's just, he's, it seems to be an ongoing thing with players. You, you offer them more money and it just feels like they've embedded themselves into the team and they're safe and they're, wow. no one can touch me, but I'll still ride around in me changing colour Lamborghini. <laughs> uh, like nothing's happened. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Like, um, and this is where I go back to, there's, there's some players in the Arsenal team that need to um, really perform on Saturday and mm-hmm. show what they're worth again. Lacazette, I would choose Lacazette over Aubameyang any day of the week now. Yeah. If I was to get rid of one of them, it'd be a Bamiang. But then again, uh, I've seen like the formation Arteta had like been playing with them. So he goes like with uh, Lacazette up front and a Bamiang straight behind him. Now a Bamiang usually likes to play on the left wing. But he doesn't. He plays Lacazette. Uh, he plays Saka there. Sorry. Yeah. Um. So maybe uh, he should go back to Lacazette striker and then on the left a Bamiang. Well, that's it. We'll have to see what he does this weekend. I mean, final question before we kind of come into the, the actual game this weekend. Uh, Arteta, I've got to ask you, because uh, again, as a neutral lad, <laughs> I don't really know what the reflection <coughs> of the Arsenal fans are. Obviously, we've finally just got our new manager in. Uh, are you Arteta in? Are you Arteta out? Were you sad at the start when he lost three in a row? Are you coming round to it? What's your feeling on the manager right now? Oh. <laughs> I should have not have asked. <laughs> Joe, you know what? Right. Here's the thing. When Arteta came in, I was over the moon. Um, as you know, I'm a DJ over in Grand Canary. Yeah, yeah. And um, I had a bit of a quiet night one night. So I ended up putting a load of Spanish music on <laughs> and, and, like, you know, and, and singing Arteta and stuff like this. And, yeah. you know what I mean, because it's, it's always nice to see a bit of fresh blood in the team. Do you know what I mean? Even when it's his first coaching job, you, yeah. you're a bit spectacle of what is he going to do? And it's, it's, it's exciting times. Um, after the first season, I was just a bit like, well, winning the FA Cup, right? He didn't do half of that work anyway. Um, thing he did. Yeah. Goody binning. Yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah. He did half the work anyway. So you can't really judge him off of winning a trophy there because a lot of people go, oh, well, he's won a trophy. Yeah, but he didn't really do all the work for that. Uh-huh. Do you know what I mean? It's, he had a couple of games and then that was it. Yeah. The, the following season, I think we finished eighth. Or, yeah, I think yeah, it was eighth because we finished eighth twice. And it's just like, oh. Yeah. So you've had I mean, a full season now. Um, but- and then this season, it has got to the point where it's like, okay, you're turning things around slightly. But like it goes back to what I said, these are the teams that we should have been beating anyway. Yeah. Doesn't matter what manager we have. I'm I'm Arteta in. I would like to see him have at least five years, mm-hmm. but I, I I don't want to go lower than that ninth position. We yeah. can't we can't fit in. He has to go if we finish below tenth. That that's it, man. So I mean, not, enough's enough. But I would like to say that Arteta did come out with this yesterday. Um, I get um talking about Newcastle, it's a new game. Uh, there's changes happening there. You see the last game they played, there was different things. A new manager, a new coaching staff as well. Mm-hmm. So he knows what he's up against. Yeah. You know, and, he, and he's seen that you've been scoring goals. Well, that, well, that's it. And um, if I'm honest, if, you, if you'd if you asked me earlier on this season, if I thought we had any chance against Arsenal, I would have said no. Uh, I don't know if I'm just still riding off what was a much better performance this weekend, but we did look better. And I, again, if I had, if I had to go either way, I would, I, I mean, if you offered me the draw now, I would take it, but. Um, I think I, I would as well, mate. <laughs> <laughs> so you, I was going to, because this was what, because I know you mentioned earlier about obviously beating teams that you feel you should have beat. I mean, you play Newcastle at home. We haven't won a game yet. So although we have got a bit of a bounce from the manager, ultimately we have, we have not been good. So you you must be looking at this and thinking, Hopefully, if we play the right game, we should be getting three points, right? Yeah, 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 and no. <laughs> I'm, 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 oh god, it's it's so hard talking about Arsenal going into every game because yeah. you just don't know what Arsenal you're going to get at the moment. Um, and it, and it and it has got to that point now where I actually fear a lot of teams going into games. It, it doesn't matter if you're Brentford, Newcastle, Liverpool, uh-huh. City. You're all the same to us now. <laughs> you're, you're a threat and uh, I'm going to be you're honest you're a threat every team is a threat to Arsenal at the moment huh. because a lot of t- teams know that, that they can get at Arsenal they can get under their skin 
Do you know what yeah. I mean? It's in, and it it shows very very well what teams can do against Arsenal. Yeah, I mean to be fair, I mean the, I mean this is why the Premier League's great. You know, you look at some of the fixtures. Look at look flat- at me not being biased, by the way. I know. Yeah, big up, <laughs> big up to you. To be fair, coming on the Newcastle Channel, you've got to wear. <laughs> you could, to be fair, even then I thought you were just going to go yeah because I wouldn't. I don't think anyone yeah, would yeah. expect you to say anything else. To be honest, I mean as I say, yeah. um, I have got a little bit of hope going in. As I say. I could take a nice 1-1 one, one draw out of it, I would. But ultimately, we're still looking for our first win. I think a lot of Newca- Newcastle fans see this Arsenal game as a little bit of a freebie to see if we can get something. It's next week where we'll play Norwich and Burnley in the space of three days next week. That's Ooh, when people are really God. hoping the relegation we can, uh, war. I know. Uh, I think we'll know a lot more about how where our season's going at the end of next week. Um, but... Come on, James. Give me a give me a prediction, a scoreline. What are you uh, What are you looking at for this weekend? I actually put it on your um, on your channel. Oh, you did. Oh, yeah. Have you uh, not seen I, it yet? Um, prediction video was out last night. If you guys want to yeah. go and look at that as well. <laughs> um, I got a like off someone. Was it off you? <laughs> it, it wasn't me. No, it wasn't. Uh, so, right, someone okay, so someone someone liked my <laughs> prediction. Um, I just have a look now. Just to. Uh, uh, While you're looking for that, I'll give you mine. Yeah. I mean, as I said, if you looked at it yesterday. I went realistic with my prediction. I went 2-1 Arsenal. Um, again, I think we we definitely did play a lot better against Brentford. I think if we go out there with the same intensity and and really put in a shift, I think we can possibly. I mean, we're not. I don't. I can't see us comprehensively coming down uh, to your to your place and getting a, a, like a three 0 win. I think looking like something like that's just crazy. I think if we did w- if we did win, it would be a two one one nil last minute goal. Um, and I think a 1-1 one, one draw would, would probably suit me as well. But I think ultimately, I think you guys have you know, got the better team. And although maybe we have got a bit of a manager bounce, I think I've got to probably go with you. Did you find your prediction? <laughs> uh, yeah, I, I went 2-0 Arsenal. You went 2-0 Arsenal, yeah. yeah. No, I mean, that's fair, really. Um, I... Joe will be, would actually like be nice to see you actually pull out Willock. Um, yes, yeah. You know, he know he knows the team. He knows the team. He knows the formation Arteta um, plays. He knows how they play. So, what's to say? You know, Willock could actually like take the reins of that 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 team that day and, go I'm, out there and give, give a good fight. It would it would be really good to see Willock step up because um, he had obviously had a fantastic. I mean, he mean, he saved us last season. I mean, it was thanks to him that we didn't get relegated last season. He hasn't started this season particularly well with a uh, foot injury and he's kind of making his way back into the side. I mean, it would be great for him to announce himself once again this weekend. Yeah, yeah. I was just looking at the um, the, the, the supercomputer predictions, right? <laughs> All right, okay. <laughs> um, I was looking at this today, so I thought I'd bring this up. Um, Manchester City on 86 points, Liverpool on 83 points, Chelsea on 82 points, West Ham 62 points, Manchester United 58 points, Arsenal 58 points. Right. Which is sixth. Okay. So I was being a little realistic late, maybe. Yeah, yeah. Technology, what does that (laughs) mean? Where's he got Uh, Newcastle? All right, okay. So um, as we go down. Yes. Uh, the the final five, okay. So Leeds on forty two points, okay. Watford on thirty eight points, oh dear. Burnley on thirty eight points, Newcastle on thirty two points, oh. and Norwich on thirty points. The supercomputer is not feeling it for Newcastle, are they? No, right now? <laughs> no. but that, like you say, it all goes to. Let's see what happens in January with Newcastle, isn't it? I mean, we've said it before. We just need to see what we need to see some big signings. I think at Newcastle. To get to actually bring that hype again, yeah. Well, the, the problem for me is that if we are sat dead last in the league come the first of January, like no one would. Why would anyone want to go to us? I mean, you look at bringing in loan signings. People are talking about players like Ake coming in on a loan because he's obviously mates with Eddie Howe from his Bournemouth days. Like, does he really want to get off his comfy seat in Man City and come and fight in the bottom place, Newcastle? Like, why would he bother? You know, looking at bringing in people like Lacazette, is he really going to, I know he would, he's coming to the end of his contract, but is he really going to get off his comfy chair at Arsenal and come and fight in a relegation fight for us? Like, why would he bother? Um, your your biggest, uh, your biggest deal and your biggest bait to bring players in is your, your owners at yeah. the moment. Because you can, you can, uh, like City did, 
it's basically, you know, they, they said, look, we're building something here. Yeah. In the next couple of years, you could see something big happening here. Well, that's you know, the thing. If, if, we, if we're in 16th place come January, I think it's a, it's a sell because you can be like, look, we're going to spend more. We're going to do more. We're going to stay up this season. We're going to do more in the summer. The problem is if we're sitting bottom three or bottom of the league, you're also risking the chance of playing in the championship next season. So of anything, before we even get to January, I think we need to sort ourselves out and be in a, a decent-ish place before we, before anyone's going to seriously consider coming our way. So that's my biggest worry for the January. Who's to say you don't beat us? You beat us and then go it, on a, a five-game run. <laughs> it could be the start, mate. Beat Arsenal away, then beat yeah. both Norwich and Burnley. Three-game three game run. Who knows? It, it, I mean, I think if, you, like, if someone told you that now, you'd, you'd bite their hand off for it. So. Oh, absolutely, mate. Well, again, this was when I did my video the other day. It was relatively 50-50 with people saying, oh, you know, I, I don't think we've got a chance. And then people saying, oh, don't worry about it, Rob. We're going to be fine. Um, and I, and I just think, you know, the next few games is when we're really going to find out where Newcastle's fate lies. But we'll hope can, we I, get... can I just say as well, the, your, I watched your um, predicted signings. Oh, yeah. <laughs> some of them, the, some, who, who's putting them names in them things, man? <laughs> I want to know that who's putting some of them names. They just were like, you know, out of this world. Well, okay? this is, as I say, the, the oh, list them, of... Them people, them people must be smoking something. <laughs> <laughs> The list of him we're not linked with is is shorter than the list of players that we are linked with. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. But again, James, thanks for coming on. You've seen no two, problem, mate. two nil Arsenal this weekend is your prediction. Two nil Arsenal. I'm going. Yeah, I'm sorry, mate, but I have to go. <laughs> I, have, I have to stick to my guns. No, mate. As I say, I would uh, I would take the draw if I, if I got offered it now. But um, thanks for coming on, James. Guys, um, James is um, channel is one way football. Um, and also, I have another channel as well, All Arms Out, which is just all Arsenal. Good man. I'll, say, I I'll put, send you a link. Good guy. I will put the links to both of the uh, channels down in the description. I did do a video with James on his channel talking about Eddie Howe as well. So if you want to go and check that out, be sure to do so. I'll link that video down in the description as well. Um, but good to see you, James. Thanks for coming you on the too, channel. Mate. Great to hear your preview. Um, and as I say, guys, be sure to go and check out James and subscribe to him as well. All right, man. Thanks for watching, guys. And I'll Cheers, catch mate. you later.